Lucas Cabrese, uh, you were steering on the starboard side of Patriot today. It was clearly a, a shifty and gusty day. Can you just talk us through the conditions? Yes, uh, it was actually really, really gusty and, and shifty like you described. And um, yeah, probably the hardest day we had since we've been sailing Patriot, uh, offshore breeze. And the breeze was anywhere between seven knots and 20 knots. So it made the day really challenging, but it was, it was good to put our systems to test and uh, I thought it was a great day. You say it was one of the hardest days you've had. From a helming point of view, what makes it so difficult? Is it, I mean, obviously the gusts and the shifts. Yeah, obviously, you know, you're saying up point at 35 knots uh, or so, and things are coming at you pretty quick. And uh, sometimes it's hard to anticipate those, what those puffs are gonna do and those ships being so close to shore. But I think it was a great test for the systems and they were quite reliable today uh, overall, so. Um, we're happy. I was going to ask you about anticipating those gusts and shifts. In a normal sailboat, you can do it with your head out of the boat, as we used to say. Your head's very much in the boat and in a helmet. How do you anticipate shifts and gusts? Yeah, I mean, you still use your eyes and try to to peer at what's coming at you, and also your eye on some other crew members to uh, call what the, the wind is going to be doing. So, yeah, on and all, a hard day, but good learning. We saw what looked like a precarious moment on one of the downwinds. You were flying quite high and, and got quite a lot of, of lured heel on. What was happening there? Yeah, like I said, probably not, not good enough anticipation of what's coming at you or, or wind changing really, really quickly. So things don't move as fast as you need them to move sometimes. Uh, but, you know, we managed to go around the, the course we set. Uh, and so we we're pretty happy. It was quite an early finish to the day. Was that more about the weather forecast or problems with the boat? Yeah, no, the weather is getting, was getting pretty, pretty windy at the end. We had some cones that was blowing up to 40 knots up on the top of the building. So we decided to call it a day and bring the boat back ashore. How easy is it for you to switch in from your normal role on the boat into the helming role? Well, right now I've been driving for quite a while now, mostly in the AC40, spent a lot of time driving one of our AC40s, so I feel more comfortable with it now. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I've been doing the last six months. So yeah, quite comfortable with it. Big differences between the AC40 and the, the scale of the AC75? Yeah, yeah, you, you would think the AC40 is a bit twitchier, so sometimes a little harder for for some parts, but and the AC75 is just a bit more complex with the manual power and, you know, with the cyclers and all that stuff, so there's a bit more to manage, but I think the concept's pretty similar. A few more days of sailing left before the Christmas break. Yeah, we're gonna push as, as far as we can and uh, then try to re-energize for next year. It's gonna be a big one. Fantastic, thank you, Lucas. Thank you guys.